Buck is on his way. Hi, my big boy. All right, he did not shed the velvets just completely off yet. Come on, big boy. Still has his velvets on. You ready? Yeah, you're so excited. Come on. You ready, big boy? You ready for your apples? Look what I got. Come here. I got his apples. I had cut them like literally like an hour ago and I put them in a the fridge. So I prepped his food. I got comfortable in my PJs again this evening. I know it looks like I'm still like dressed from this morning, but I actually did get dressed. But I got, oh my gosh, guys, look at that. Oh, he is shedding the velvets. Oh, Buck, that looks so gross. It looks nasty, guys. I'm not going to lie. In person, that looks gross. So by tomorrow, I have a feeling his antlers, the velvet, is going to be completely off by tomorrow. Yeah, look at that. It's like shedding big time. His velvets are shedding. You can already see a little bit of his antler on the other antler. Not this one, the other side. You can actually see the antler. Wow, Buck, pretty soon you're gonna look like a big boy. With the big antlers, you're gonna have sharp antlers. It's okay, I wasn't around no dogs. I was around Ginger and the baby, that's it. The same scent that you smell all the time. No new dogs. I really was, I was around my son and my dog that's it i wasn't around my mother-in-law's dogs where usually you know he picks up the scent and then he doesn't want to be around me not today not today big boy so buck's antlers started shedding the velvets this morning so guys by tomorrow i have a feeling that velvet is going to be completely off because he's probably going to be rubbing the rest of the day and probably all night so by tomorrow, we're probably going to be able to see his antlers. It's just crazy how that happens, right? It's crazy how, like, you know, how male deers, they go through this. I wonder if it hurts them. I always thought about that, but I guess not. Probably not. I'm sure it must feel good for them to rub off that velvet. Good boy, baby. I forgot to put the bracelet on this evening and I'm already getting bitten. Honestly, it's crazy. I forgot to put it on and I'm literally, I feel mosquito bites already on one of my arms. Ah, it's so hard to remember, guys. I try to remember every day to get, to get them. Buck, you look like you came from like a horror movie or like a crime scene or something like oh my god uh, yeah. let me push the apples for you so you could reach them i'm trying to push them to, towards my way let me see okay now it'll be easy for you to get them good boy good boy all right Let's have the rest of the good stuff. I'm going to get away from this spot because there's a lot of mosquitoes in that spot where I was just... Now he's got the grapes and butternut squash. The rest of the good stuff. There you go. Okay. Hold on, guys. Let me just put this in here. This in here. Okay. Oh, I just got bit on one of my arms. It's my fault. I should have wore. I should have wore the bracelet. I forgot. Honestly, I totally forgot. I had to just switch hands to slap the mosquito off of myself. I don't even want to like totally zoom in the way I normally do because I feel like I feel bad if anybody's eating while they're watching this video or making dinner or something. You know, and then they have to see this. That's why I'm not going to totally zoom in the way I normally do. I only zoomed in this morning to show everybody, like, how he shed in the velvets. But right now, oh, my God, there was a mosquito on my arm. I just blew it off. These mosquitoes, they have nothing better to do. Like, 
And I don't even eat a lot of sweets. I eat mostly, if anything, sour foods than sweet foods. And I'm still getting chewed up. Like, it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter if you eat sweet or sour. They're still gonna, like, bite you no matter what. Like, sting you, whatever. So Buck is having his dinner. I'm sorry, guys, if I move the camera around a little bit. Like, if it's a little bit, like, everywhere, this video. It's just, it's my fault. I didn't wear the bracelet. I forgot to put it on. Yesterday, I wore it, and I was so peaceful. I didn't have no mosquitoes coming next to me at all, at all. And now this evening, I forgot to wear it. This morning, I wore it, too. I didn't feel no mosquitoes by me at all. And it was really cold this morning. Not cold, but, like, it was cool outside where there wasn't much mosquitoes. Now, this evening, it got warm. Like, this afternoon, it got so warm. Like, literally, like, 80s warm. And all the mosquitoes are back. They are back. So, by tomorrow, Buck is probably going to look like a different deer with the antlers. Like, what his antlers. Look like, I always say he looks like a big boy. I always tell him, I'm like, with the other antlers, like, you know, without the velvets, he looks like a big boy. And then in another month or so, he'll be going into rut. And that's when he starts getting the zoomies, running around like a maniac, getting tired. <laughs> but I love watching that. Like when he starts running around like a maniac and getting the zoomies. Oh, I love it. I start laughing. He cracks me up. Usually when he's in rut, like in a month or so, a month or two, when he goes into rut, I notice like after his meals, that's what, it's like if he gets really excited and he starts like running around after his meals, like he gets so excited. It must give him energy or something, like an energy boost. Cause then he gets the run to where he wants to just start running around. I know Buck, I feel mosquitoes too. Right now he's wagging his tail because of the mosquitoes, definitely. I don't want to spray him while he's eating, you know? I'll wait till he's done. When he's done eating, I'll spray him. I don't want to do it now because I feel like I'm going to like, you know, he's going to stop eating then and he's going to walk away. I don't want to do that to him. So I will wait. But it's definitely mosquitoes got to be bothering him if they're bothering me. Because I just got bit twice on the arm where I'm recording. That's why I keep moving my hand a lot because I have to slap the mosquitoes off of me. So I'm sorry if this video is like everywhere like this. I'm sorry. It's my fault. I know. I'm like the forgetter. I always forget something. I try not to. Maybe if I hang out down here, like I'm crouched down now. So maybe down low, there's no mosquitoes. But they're everywhere. This morning it was nice and cold outside, which I loved it. Because there was no mosquitoes. Like I didn't literally see nothing in the air. Now this afternoon, they're all back. I wonder where do they go? Like when it's so cold out, like where do mosquitoes go, you know? Like, do they hibernate into the trees or something? Like, I want to know, like, where do all the mosquitoes go when it gets really cold out? And then, like, a couple hours later, if it gets hot out or warm out, boom, they're all out again. So it's like they disappear for a few hours, and then they come back. Crazy. I gotta stop putting myself a reminder every day, like before I go feed Buck, for the time that I have to go feed Buck, to put a reminder, like, don't forget to put on citronella bracelets. I literally gotta start doing that. <clears throat> I think that's the best way for me not to forget, is to put a reminder. Oh, I gotta fix that pool noodle, that one. It's getting, it's coming off the bar. Let me go fix it while well, he's eating. Hold on, guys, let me fix this. It's probably from the squirrels. Okay, I fixed it. There was a rope around it. I wonder what happened to the rope that was around that. I'm gonna have to bring out a piece of rope tomorrow. I may actually find one. Let me see if I can find one from... Is this old rope? Yeah, guys, this is old rope. I found it. Okay, I could use this rope. It's a little dirty. But I found rope that I could use. That's probably why. Yeah, because I have found either the squirrels or the raccoons. Like, they either bite the ropes off or something. It just looks so like, uh, 
because it's horrible. Like looking at it, it's not a fun sight. Last year he came to me, literally walked up the hill with his velvets hanging from his antlers where I was like, oh my God. I was like, really? But every year, you know, I see it in person. <laughs> I feel like me hanging out with Buck every day, like, I, I've learned a lot about the years hanging around him and watching his moves, like, you know, his every day-to-day -day life. Like, I feel like I've learned a lot. Like, I feel like I know how, like, the years think and stuff. I'm sorry, guys, if I'm moving the camera. I just had an itch on my arm. So itchy. I have to stop scratching it. I'm just going to cause the mosquito bite to be more itchy. They always say that if you get a mosquito bite, don't start scratching it. And my, and me, I always do the opposite. So I'm sorry if I'm moving this camera around a lot. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm trying not to. I'm sorry. It was my fault. Tomorrow, I will remember to bring the bracelet to wear it. And it helped so much yesterday, that bracelet. It helped so much. You know what I do? Get the bottle before he walks away to spray him. Okay, I have the bottle behind me because once I see him making any moves to walk away is when I'm gonna spray him. All right, I just hit the bottle behind me. I don't want him to see me spraying him. He didn't even see me doing it. All good, he didn't see me. I just sprayed the back of his body by his tail. Once he gets ready to walk away is when I'm really gonna spray him, spray him. Like now. Let me do it, Buck. <laughs> I got him a little bit. I had to, Buck. I had to save you from getting bitten. Buck is probably like, oh, really? Did he eat all his corn? It always makes me want to look in the buckets when he walks away. Did you eat all your dinner? Yes, he did. He ate all of his dinner. Damn, I should have started spraying you then before you walked away. <laughs> I just don't want to like spraying him, you know, close to the buckets. I mean, it won't go in his buckets if I spray him because I have the spray set on stream. You know when you stream like a streams instead of spraying? I have the spray set literally on stream where it just streams so I could get like specific spots on his body. That's why I don't keep it on spray. But I got the back of his body so I think he should be good now. A little bit. All right, everyone, I'm going to make a quick video because my mother-in-law literally just came home from work not too long ago, and then she had to come by me to go watch my son. I feel bad, you know? Like I said, I know she doesn't care. If it was up to her, she would watch him for an hour if I had, like, if I needed her to. But I don't want to, like, you know, I don't want to, like, take advantage and be out here any longer because I know she's tired and she probably wants to rest. So I'm gonna get going. So tomorrow, we're probably gonna see the velvets off of him, completely off. If he keeps scratching all night from like now to tonight, the velvets will definitely be completely off by tomorrow. That means this year, he shedded them a lot quicker than last year. Cause last year, I remember he didn't start scratching his velvets till like September 16th. I think he had his velvets completely off by September 20th. This year, it's the beginning of September, you know? Like, we're still, like, you know, in the first week of September. So this year, he definitely shedded the velvet a lot sooner than I thought. I didn't think it was going to be this soon, but wow. Crazy. So I guess every year is different, you know? Look at this little squirrel. It looked like it was sneaking up on us. You are so cute. He's so cute. All right, everyone. I will be back tomorrow morning with another video. Hopefully he sheds his velvets tonight completely so we don't have to, I don't have to have him like walk up to me tomorrow morning like with the velvets hanging from his head. I hope it's not like that. If it is, it is what it is, you know, I'm used to it. Like I said, I see that every year with him. I've been with him for four years. So to me, it's normal. Like, you know, what he goes through, I'm used to it. So I hope everyone has a great evening. And a good night. And me and this big boy, we will be back tomorrow morning with another video. All right, everyone. Ciao for now. And by the way, to any new people on my channel, ciao means bye. It can mean bye or hi in Italian. 
It actually means buy or high. It all depends how you use it, you know? So that's why I say ciao for now. Meaning like for now, because I will be back. <laughs> that's why I always say ciao for now. <laughs> all right, everyone. Have a good rest of your day, evening. And me and him, we will be back soon. Bye.